We pray for the soul of Anthony D'Souza and family, for the soul of Ashok Monterio, and for all your personal intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Teresa of the Child Jesus, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. She is the patroness of missionaries. As we partake in this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge our sinfulness so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. As we all together say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who open your kingdom to those who are humble and to little ones, lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Therese, so that through her intercession we may see your eternal glory revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Rejoice, Jerusalem. Be glad for her, all you who love her. Rejoice, rejoice for her, all you who mourned her, that you may be suckled, filled from her consoling breast, that you may savor with delight her glorious breasts. For thus says the Lord, Now towards her I send flowing peace like a river, and like a stream in spate the glory of the nations. At her breast will the nurslings be carried and fondled in her lap. Like a son comforted by his mother will I comfort you, and by Jerusalem you will be comforted. At the sight of your heart will rejoice, and your bones flourish like the grass. To his servants the Lord will reveal his hand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord, together. Keep, Keep my, my soul, soul in peace, peace before you, you, O Lord. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor haughty my eyes. I have not gone after things too great, nor marvels beyond me. Our response. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. Truly, I have set my soul in silence and peace. A weaned child on its mother's breast, even so is my soul. Our response, keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere 
your children. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples came to Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? So he called a little child to him and set the child in front of them. Then he said, I tell you solemnly, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. And so, the one who makes himself as little as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Anyone who welcomes a little child like this in my name welcomes me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, in today's first reading, Prophet Isaiah is comforting people with his consoling words. People who were in exile, now they have come back to Jerusalem and he is consoling them that there will be a restoration of Jerusalem. For so long, these people were mourning over Jerusalem, the destruction of Jerusalem. But now, he is consoling them. With cer certain imaginary, or certain images which he gives. The first image he gives is of a little child who has been comforted by her mother when he is drinking the milk. He has been comforted. Then I, Prophet Isaiah says, same way God will comfort you, my people. God will comfort you just like a mother comforting her little one. My dear brothers and sisters, further Prophet Isaiah says that there will be peace, a river of peace flowing in Jerusalem. Consoling and comforting words. In today's gospel reading, disciples are asking Jesus who will be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven and Jesus placing before them a small little child says, one who is like this child will be the greatest in the kingdom of God. Jesus is asking us to be like child in order to enter the kingdom of God. What do we see in child? The simplicity, humility and innocence, a sinless life in the child. And we, when we have these virtues, we are greatest in the kingdom of God. That is what Jesus says. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Teresa of child Jesus. When we look at her life, what do we see? Saint Teresa of child Jesus. She was born in 1873 and she died in 1897. Just 24 years of lifespan. But in these 24 years she made so much of impact on the novices. At the age of 15, at this age she joined the Carmelite Monastery at the age of 15 and by her life, by her words, she gave these virtues which she herself lived. Her life, she lived the life of humility, evangelical simplicity and complete trust in God. She lived a holy life through meditation on the life, on the life of Jesus, through her prayer, and through her simplicity. And these virtues she gave to the novices which were there with her. 
My dear brothers and sisters, we are called to live simple life, humble life, to be like child, to enter the kingdom of heaven. And that is the message of today's gospel too. During this Mass, we pray to the Holy Spirit that Holy Spirit may strengthen us to live these virtues in order to enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Simple gifts we bring before the table. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Teresa, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits were pleasing to you, so do our dutiful service may find favor in your sight to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. For your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your God, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as a Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Right. 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself only to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, kindle in us the force of that love with which St. Teresa dedicated herself to you and long to obtain your mercy for all to Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, today we begin the month of October, also known traditionally as the month of the Rosary. We invite you to, I know you are praying the rosary, but to pray it a little more fervently, asking our Blessed Mother's intercession that God will listen to our prayers to end this pandemic. We will also have the rosary from our parish grotto this evening at 7 o'clock. Those of you who would like to tune in, please join us. 7 o'clock this evening, rosary from our grotto, only for today. Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. We stand for God and for His glory. The Lord supreme and God of all against His Amen.